This video is sponsored by the brand new JV Jiu Jitsu online store at jvjujitsu.bigcartel.com. What's going on everybody, this is Javi Vasquez. I have realized over the past several years that final control needs to be discussed as a positional chapter. Once discussed over multiple chapters in the master plan curriculum with a variety of paths to reach it, final control is now broken up into its own chapters. Just like most offensive chapters within the master plan, control is a crucial first step in the path towards submission. If you cannot secure position with proper control, it will be very difficult to finish consistently. In this video, we will discuss controlling from final control and some tips that make control possible. Kickstarting the Harley prevents the opponent from sitting up into you and preventing them from turning to their knees. Click like and subscribe and as always, I hope you enjoy this content and thank you for watching. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's talk about the back hands, back hands. Now, right now we're dealing with the hands are just locked. If the hand is underneath my knee, go underneath my knee, I gotta clear that first. It's not hard to clear, I just clear it. It's, it's easy. So what happens is, the way this works, go ahead and do it, feet come up, no, legs come up, and then they rock up out. Yes or no? Right? Come back to the knee, rock up. Okay. Yes or no? Rock up. Rock up. Rock up. Why can't he rock up? How does it work? When his legs come up, go. Then his head comes up after. So when his legs go down, his head goes up. You follow me? Okay. When his legs go up, my leg goes up. When it goes down, it goes down. Easy. That's an easy one in your backpack. I think one of the problems, one of the main problems, is especially, uh, especially when what I call the strong arm is in. And what happens is this guy actually has control with his arms, using your arms to take me this way. Nope, that, that, your arms. Yes, use your arms to take the other way. Yes, you see, see the problem? So he has control of me by moving his arms back and forth. So obviously if he moves his arms north, easy. But if he moves them south, problem. Because I don't have an arm over there. You can't switch your arms. So we need to understand how to keep him on his back without switching arms. Go ahead and do that. Go, come up. Come up. Come up. Why can't you come up? My legs are heavy. My legs are heavy. But not only are my legs heavy, I can be heavy here with square hips and he comes up. But as I fell, as he fell over, I landed on my hip. I landed on my side. So I'm laying on my left side. And now from this angle, my knee drops and I can drive the heel into the ground. Heavy, heavy. Now, my arm, a lot of times, will want to hold his arm deep. But as you fall, it is okay to let it slip. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll grab my hand like this. If he bridges north, I have my hand. But if he bridges south, it keeps his arm glued to my chest, the back of his arm. Now I'm on my side. You see I'm on my side? I'm not laying flat on my hip anymore. Now I can drive, kickstart the Harley, I call it. Kickstarting the Harley, heel to the ground, go ahead and come up, please. No way. 
Now, how long do I hold this position? I hold it until he gives up, so as he's trying to come up, you felt that strain. Go, 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 and at some point he relaxes. He relaxes, I come right back up and start working on the hands. He wants to come up again, he the weight, heavy leg. Heavy, 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 he relaxes. I come up, attack the hands. Can you switch and do the same thing? Yeah, sure can. So you can also hold the leg and drive the heel to the ground. Okay, so it's the angle of my hip. So from this angle here, it's hard. I can't generate any power down this way. But if I follow my side, this, look, I can drive, look, look, I can put all the weight on my shoulder, hip. I mean, it's, it's heavy. My leg is heavy. Can't do the same kind of thing when, uh, when you're squared. So what I want you to focus on is, is as, as you fall to the legs, now your knee drops as well, so everything stays the same angle. I can't have my knee up and be on my hip. Everything is in line, and now I kickstart the Harley by driving the heels of the gun. Okay? Let's get back with whichever partner you had last, if you remember who that was. Switch top to bottom, same thing. Now you're focusing on kickstarting the Harley. You can put either arm you want, but the, 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 the heel to the ground, is the main thing I want you to focus on, to learn how to hold them in place. Go. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.